How'd it go out there today? Uh, out, out there and in there. Uh, there it was good. There. It was good. Really good execution. Maybe our best execution of the year. Uh, but, it, but it should be. You know, I mean, we've gotten some rest, and uh, you know, the guys did a nice job coming back again the last week. So good start to the week. Last year, uh, you had uh, at times you had Benrick going there, sort of a spy on Denard um, when you played Machine last year. How do you think that worked last year? And do you have any plans to do something like that? Uh, I think it was pretty average a year ago from the standpoint that you know at, at the end of the day, I don't think Denard ran on any of those plays. Will we? I don't know. Maybe, but um, you know, at, at the end of the day, I, you know, we're just trying to get uh, from a game plan standpoint something we thought we could take advantage of if he decided to run. You said uh, yesterday you're preparing for both Denard and Devin. Uh, yeah. What kind of a? I mean, does that add a headache for preparation for this game? Or yeah, I mean, I just think that the talent level overall gives you a headache. I mean, they've got uh, terrific talent, and they're very well coached, fundamentally very, very disciplined, and uh, you know, you compound that with having to go play them on the road. So it's going to be a huge, huge challenge for us. But uh, you know, you just got to execute. I mean, that's what it comes down to in November. It's not anything magical. It's not like the opening game where you know you don't know what you're going to see. They know what we're running. We know what they're running, and it comes down to execution at this time of the year. As an observer, what can you say about uh, what Brady Hoke did last year, turning a team into uh, or turning that team into a Sugar Bowl team last year? Yeah, I mean, he does a terrific job. He's been an outstanding coach for a long, long time, and uh, I got the utmost respect for him. He does a terrific job. He's a better person than he is a coach, and he's a darn good football coach. So, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I'm impressive to see what he's been able to accomplish. You guys have become a run, uh, running-oriented team a little bit this year, shifting from a lot of heavy passing attack. Mm-hmm. Brady had to do it where um, changing a spread offense into a you know pro-style formation sure. in a way. I mean, how hard is that as a coach to do that kind of thing? Well, you know, I, especially with today's day and age, I think you got to adjust what you do to your players. And, and if you don't, you, you're super rigid. I think you're making a huge mistake. So... You know, obviously, you got to commend them for what they've done, and we're trying to just, you know, again, players' formations, plays. What do we do best, and, and uh, go out there and try to coach our guys up to execute it to the best of their ability. Coach, your defense has been much improved this season, but one thing that's been lacking is, is uh, forcing turnovers. What are you guys doing in practice to try and uh, get uh, some more fumbles, and get some interceptions? For uh, I don't know about that now. I mean, I think what are we plus six in a turnover ratio? So, I mean, I'm, you know, we've missed too many interceptions. I mean, that's the one thing we've just missed too many. We've had our hands on. I, when we did our self scout. We we should be at somewhere around twelve or thirteen interceptions. And right now we're at three, so we've probably missed ten opportunities right there. And if we make any one, maybe two or three that were in critical situations, you know, maybe we're in a little bit of a different different spot. But uh, we work hard at it every day, and uh, I think our guys have done actually a pretty good job. We're not going to get them all, but what's more important is the ratio. And uh, you know, we've we've been pretty good at this point. Going back to offense, just um, how impressed have you been with your offensive line this thus far this season? Well, I think it's an 11-man operation. I think the last few years have gotten a lot of, uh, I guess, negativity thrown at them because of our sack totals. But, you know, when we went back and we looked at our sack totals, our, you know, over half of our sacks were for less than one yard. So, you know, you don't get too bent out of shape. You prefer to see us get rid of the ball. Maybe we didn't run the right route. Maybe we did blow a one-man protection. You know, one guy broke down, but whatever. But schematically, I think we've been sound. It will be challenged this week. They do a great job on third down of overload pressure, trying to attack your protections. And uh, we're going to have to do a great job adjusting in-game based on uh, you know on what Coach Madison and the staff are going to do. So that's going to be the, the chess match within the game. It's going to be a great challenge. What has been the reason for that success uh, as far as the sacks over? There's only 12 the entire season so far. Yeah. I think 47 last year. If you had to attribute to one thing. Uh, I think just playing and executing better. I think getting rid of the ball, uh, making better decisions with the ball. I think more sound in the standpoint of execution of our protection. I think we've been winning one more one-on-one matchups. You know, about a third of our breakdowns a year ago were losing one-on-one matchups. So you, know, you got a third there. You got about half that are one and one one and a half yard sacks. And stats are for losers, guys. So. <laughs> We cut the grass a quarter inch shorter this year, too, but none of you guys have brought that up, so I'm a little disappointed. Uh, Coach, now that you've had a couple years to let it sink in, what are your thoughts on the, the new structure of the Big Ten in terms of you know, playing in the Legends division and then mm. having to win the division and go to the mm. conference championship game? Well, you know, I think it's obviously uh, pretty special for the fans. I think it's great to see the, you know, the two divisions, and now we go to November, and you know, we got divisional races going down to the wire, and you know, it was kind of the same way a year ago. So I guess two years into it, I I think it's pretty cool. You know, again, I, I thought I had an idea in the summer on what we might might be able to do in case the season kind of unfolded the way it has. And we've made some decisions as a conference, and I've 
you know, respect those, and, and uh, you know, I think it's going to all play itself out on the field. We got a lot of football left to play here this season. How yeah, different you, is, has it been now, you know, going after a Big Ten title than it was when you were a player? I mean, the bottom line is you got to win. So if you win, you put yourself in position for a significant November, and you know we're in that position. You know, and all we can control right now is what we can do and, and, and how we go about it. And along those same lines, what do you remember from that 1995 win against Michigan as a player? Um, the Bianca Batuka had about 2,000 yards against us. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't score though. So I mean, we we uh, we found a way to win. Sammy had a great game kicking the ball. We had a lot of guys step up. I remember Steve going down and Hammy coming in, throwing some big passes. You know, and then we, uh, you know, I thought we played tough in the red zone defensively, and we played really, really well in the kicking game. Gave ourselves a chance to win a ball game. Made some big plays down the stretch. And what's it like to lead a team in, into that sort of environment? Yeah, it's just like every other game. It's just like every other game. I, mean, I think every game is special in Big Ten football. It's a great privilege for me, and I'm honored to have the responsibility. And you know. I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't get over excited about one game more than the other. They're all pretty darn big to me. So I look forward to Saturday. And huge, huge challenge for us. So it uh, should be exciting. I'll take you said, for Coach. Pat, you said yesterday that it was an unusual bye week yeah. because it was so late and yeah. you knew what you had mm -hmm. in your team. What do you have? Uh, I think we got a physical team. I think our guys will fight. Um, I think we're maturing to the point where our younger guys are now starting to figure out just how hard it is to win a game. And that's the challenge. I, I think anytime you kind of have to turn over what we did a year ago, we've had to learn how to win and uh, learn how to win with this group. And that's not just the players, it's the coaches, it's the whole program. And, you know, it's, uh, it's never easy, but I think the guys.